Hey, this is Jerry from Blue Studio, and in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna show how to use two virtual cameras. We're gonna have our free look camera, and then when we do an interaction, we'll transition to a side view camera. So in this video, we're gonna set up those cameras. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we are in Unity, and I want to add a second camera. And the reason I want to do that is when the player is going to be interacting with something, I want to have that camera offset and look at the player from a side view. And I don't want to use the main free look camera. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and add a new camera. Now I have a folder specifically for cameras. And the reason I'm doing that is just because we're going to start having a lot of game objects and I want to organize my hierarchy. So let's go ahead and add a new Cinemachine virtual camera. So let's go ahead and give this thing a name. I'm going to call it Side View Cam. The next thing I need to do is to go ahead and we have follow and look at targets. So I'm going to go ahead and take my player and follow the player. And then I also want to look at the player. So you can see that we are now have a position of looking at the feet. And then I want to have that raised up. And then we also want to be looking from the side. So I can make some adjustments to this camera. So I'm going to go ahead and with my offset in my body, I'm going to reduce the Z index. So we are a lot closer. And then I'm going to offset from the X. So we're going to look at it from the side. I want to have it be from the right side, something like that. And then I'm also going to change the Y position. So we're a little bit higher. And right now we're looking at the feet. So let's go ahead and do an aim offset. So in the Y axis, let's go ahead and have that move up just a little bit. And then I'm also going to do an offset in the Z because I want to look out a little in front of the player. So we're gonna move that camera just a little bit and something like that. So we're gonna be able to switch between our free look camera and this offset view camera. We have that camera set up, we can determine which camera we're gonna look at. Both cameras have a priority of 10. So as we come into the scene, if all of our cameras have a priority of 10, whichever is the first camera that is in our set of cameras, it's going to use that camera. So currently both cameras are set a priority of 10. And what we want to do is have our side view camera be a lower priority. So we're going to set that to nine. So it's using our free look camera because it has a higher priority, but we can then switch whenever we need to the side view. So let's go ahead and hit play. You can see that immediately we're going to go into our free look camera because it has a higher priority. So I'm in my free look camera. If I change my side look camera to be a higher priority, we're immediately transitioning to that second camera. Then we can always transition back. There we go. So now we have two virtual cameras and we'll be able to switch between both of those cameras. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, 